it. Steiner has asked them to uh, take one more turn. Uh, one or two who are still uh, lurking a little out the back, and he sent them a little off the tapes. And now they sort themselves out a little hastily. And they're off for the John Smiths uh, Topham chase. They go down towards the first of the 18 fences among those prominent in the early stages. Conciliary in the dark jacket. Dev is right up with them. Uh, Gansey is a faller at the first fence. He blundered badly and unseated his rider. And the other one to go was Postmaster. So Gansey and Postmaster have both gone at the first. And it's Dev who leads them over the second from Frankie Fig. Uh, watching the leaders over safely. We lost a couple out the back. Calusa Caldera has gone and Polly Fast was the other to have gone. So two casualties at the second as Frankie Fig leads Dev as they approach the chair. They're a little way clear of Conciliary and Buffalo Bob. The leading pair are over the chair safely. Uh, the main body of the field has got over it as well and reeling back all those that remain are safely over the chair. So as they go to the water in the John Smith's Topham, it's Frankie Fig from Dev. Buffalo Bob isn't that lucky and gone beyond recall who's tracking the leaders and then Conciliary. More Perrain in the hoops is just behind them. Fistral Beach is next with Edgebriar towards the inside from Fine Parchment and Pickamus and then Storming as in the Grey Swing. Bill who's out wide. Chasing cars is on the inside of Shakalaka Boom Boom with an alpha beat from always waning Forzi Arini. Bally Holland is next, followed by Scots Irish and Passato, and then Bible Lord and Siege Master. Sagalarik and Nevada Royale, the other of the Greys, is last of those that remain as they hurtle their way across the Melling Road. The loose horse running in front of Frankie Fig and Deb, but at the moment he's uh, doing no damage. So with a riderless horse preceding the field, uh, they're pretty well grouped in behind Frankie Fig and Deb as they rise at the fifth. Frankie Fig led there by length and jumps it big and bold all the leaders are safely over bible lord made a mistake at fence number five but they are all safe as they go towards the six it's frankie fig who leads by about a length and a half dev on his inside took it in second there clear of buffalo bob who took it in third and down there uh, at the back of the field was fine parchment fine parchment unseated the rider going now towards the open ditch frankie fig by a half a length to dev over in second buffalo bob in third gone beyond records over in fourth montparain was over in fifth they all jumped it well a bad mistake at the back of the field by nevada royale who's absolute last Going on towards the next, it's Frankie Fig who led Dev, who is down. Dev was a faller, and another one to go was Buffalo Bob, and a bad mistake there by Free World. Another one to fall was Siege Master, and at the back of the field, Nevada Royale is also down at that fence as they go down towards Beaches. So Frankie Fig has been left clear at the one before Beaches from Montparain and also gone beyond recall as they all take that. There was a bad uh, blunder in uh, midfield um, to, by Sagalarique as they head now towards Beaches Brook. And out in front, it's Frankie Fig who leads by about five lengths from Montparain who races in second gone beyond recall is third to rise at beaches from Fistral Beach swing belt Pickamus takes a pretty hefty fall and also free world has gone at beaches a loose horse has gone another one's refused another loose horse as they head towards Foynhaven Frankie Fig leading by four lengths from Montparain over in second then gone beyond recall three lengths to Fistral Beach stormy exit always waning swing bill Scots Irish then Alpha Beat and Shakalaka Boom Boom this group are clear of Fort Ciarini as the leader tries to cut the corner at the canal, it's Frankie Fig who leads over it. Fistral Beach rather dived out to the right, but the majority of the leaders are all over. Uh, badly hampered towards the outside by a loose horse. Well, it was, isn't that lucky as they're over Valentine? And Frankie Fig was well clear over that as they go on now towards the fence after Valentine's. Fence number 14, Casilieri is totally tailed off and also isn't that lucky is totally tailed off. Has Frankie Fig led them over the next. Montprem was over in second. Gone beyond recall, always waning. It was a very bad mistake by Alpha Beat, but he did survive. Fistal Beach almost unseated. A great recovery as Frankie Fig leads them down towards the open ditch. Montparain, though, out jumps in towards the outside. Last year's winner always waning. At the back of the field, Alpha Beat has gone. Alpha Beat was a faller at the open ditch. Begin to make ground towards the inside. Scots Irish from a long, long way back as they go now towards a third from home. Montparain and Frankie Fig, the first two. Swing Bill the Grey always waning, then towards the inside as they now race on towards the Melling Road and still many chances here. Frankie Fig towards the inside with Montparain in the yellow and purple hoops. Always waning and then swing Bill the Grey towards the outside. These then being followed by Gone Beyond Recall and then the pale green of Scots Irish. Shakalaka Boom Boom is next, followed then by Forzi Arini and then on that one's inside, Storm in Exit. Then after these, a break back to Bally Holland and the rest as they swing the turn with less than half a mile to go in the top.
And Montperrin is just about edging into a narrow lead from Frankie Fig. Always waning his ride behind them. And then comes Gambrion, recall from Scots Irish and the grey. A swing billy who's clinging on in there. They approach the penultimate fence and the John Smith's top on it's Montperrin and Ruby Walsh, the yellow jacket, lifting off a couple of lengths ahead. Gambrion, recall, is away to the left. Always waning in the purple jacket. Scots Irish, the white face, has gone into fourth. And then Frankie Fig and their clear as swing bill. Montperrin then at the last comes up well, led by about four lengths. Last year's winner always waning, chasing in gamely towards the elbow. Scots Irish has gone into third, then gone beyond recall. And Frankie Fig at the one pace, little over a furlong still to go in the top. And Walsh nudging away on Montparain, always waning, ranging upsides. And now breezes on by, and always waning storms into the lead for back to back wins in the race. And always waning is drawing away. Montparain can't go on back in second, Scots Irish in third. But it's fabulous back to back wins in the John Smith's top. And for always waning, three in the race for Peter and always waning wins the top of Montferrain is second, Scots Irish is third, Gone Beyond Recall is next, Swing Bill finished upside Frankie Fig, then Shakalaka Boom Boom, Storm in Exit, Chasing Car, Sagalari got round ahead of Fort Ciarini, Bally Holland completed, so too Edge Briar, and then Isn't That Lucky, Fistral Beach and Conciliary at the last. Magnificent back to back wins in the Topham chase for always waning 14 to 1. He's returned in the hands of Tom O'Brien for Peter Bowen. Many people would have thought that he would have to settle for second the way that Montparain went through the race, but in the end, he has claimed him on the famous run in. And Montparain, who travelled and jumped so well with Ruby Walsh motionless in the saddle, had nothing to say when always waning stayed on past him for the win. In second, Montparain for Paul Nichols and Ruby Walsh. Third is gone beyond recall for Andrew. Lynch. 